What was really amazing to me in this Eurocryo session is that in a Europe that is so divided right now, there were 50 young people that came together and connected on the deepest level. Um, and I think we'll all go home with a changed perspective of what Europe can be. Ik heet Alba, me llamo Alba, and I'm from the Netherlands and Spain. Yeah, it's like, it's almost unimaginable that uh, 50 people from so many different countries come together and you would think it would take some time to gather the group. And after two days, they're singing together in any break we have. They are playing so many games, eating together. They know each other so well. And um, like uh, after 10 days, it feels like it's been forever. And we, we've known each other since forever. And saying goodbye is so, such a difficult thing now. Fifty individuals from fifty different cultures and backgrounds, but there is like a line connecting us, us all. This connection will stay, and this choir will st stay in our memory. I mean, it, for me, it's the third session already. I'm c I come here knowing that it's going to be a, an amazing thing, and uh, like a, a musical and hum humane miracle. But um, I'm still surprised every time. Just try to, to don't lose the contact. Sometimes we are like, okay, maybe before in that tempo, but today is another day, and it's just form it together that it stays alive. For me, it's one of the most emotional projects I ever took part in, because there are many, so, so many people from different countries coming together and making music. And I think it's not only about the music, but it's also, also about the exchange with them, about different cultures, languages, and within a few days coming together and knowing people from so many different countries. And I think it's something that will last, as we have singers from so many different cultures. In the evenings we were singing traditional songs, we were singing folk songs, and most of the time I didn't know these folk songs because they came from Bulgaria, from Ukraine, from so many different countries. And now we learned them together. And I think it is so important that we yes, try to, to bring these people together and to make music on a very high level. Some evenings we did some just like choral conductors meetings where we came together and we spoke about the program, about the rehearsals. And I think almost half of the choir are also conductors. And this is something very special because they were also observing but also bringing their own ideas into the choir. And I am really happy that this project can influence so many people, and not only these people, but the choral world. This is actually my first session and I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Um, hello, my name is Kwan Gaurang Dakun, but um, feel free to call me Kwan. Um, I'm from Thailand. Um, so right now I'm currently studying in England, so I'm in Manchester right now, in the University of Manchester. I, I really like everything actually, but um, what I like most is, I think is the spirit of everyone. Like, I feel like we really have like same intention to make music to the world and it's so nice that I feel like we're even if we don't really talk to each other but even we look at each other it's like we have um, that intention to connect and like make music to the world and it's such a nice environment to be in. Yes, um, me too. I cannot agree more with her about what she mentioned about similarities and common ground. My name is Yu Hang Tan, and I'm from Malaysia, currently living in Los Angeles, California. So I walked in here thinking that, well, we might be very different, but to my surprise, we listen to the same song, we talk about the same Netflix show, and we realize that this world is it really is smaller than we think. I 
remembered that first time, I didn't really know anyone in my part. So I kind of know their name, but not knowing them as a person. So, and I haven't heard them sing as well. So it's really hard to, how do I say, get that blending and like come together as one. Mm -hmm. But as time goes by and then there's loads of sessions, Personally, for me, I was just really impressed by the level of musicianship um, there is in this ensemble. Um, and how fast everyone learned the music. And it's just remarkable to see how much we've grown in the past short 10 days from day one getting to know each other and not knowing how to sing together and sounding as one and now we have created a uniquely Euro Choir 2022 sound that I think it's just it's really impressive to think that we did it all in 10 days and it speaks a lot about the community that we have created and on top of that of course the the beautiful musicianship that each and every single one of us bring to the plate. But I think it's very important to highlight that music has this power, that music can bring people together. And I think also in the choir it was so important that we had this goal to, to do really wonderful concerts and to have a high standard. And we had these goals to reach something extraordinary and to do this together. And I think to have this common grounds, to work on these details, to work on intonation, that also had an influence on our conversations about how we talk together. And I think the most important thing in your choir is that we have the mixture between the music, the cultures, the conversations, the love, the crying together, the emotions. And this will make your choir a unique experience for everybody. My first idea was to to send the advertisement to my students because I teach in the music school. So I sent to them, and there is one of my students who was uh, interested and who came, and so that motivated me also to to come. <laughs> And you need to imagine the lake we've been today in the middle of the night or in the, in the evening. It's very, very flat. No waves, no wind. And the shadows of the mountains when the sun goes down comes over these lakes. So you need to imagine this, this uh, peace. It's actually just peace and happiness and paradise on earth, kind of. And also I think for us a conductor it was so rewarding to see these different cultures, to hear the different folk songs they were bringing with, to learn also from these traditions, from different vocal techniques, and then to make it our own and to form one choir that sings with just one voice. So. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs>
I think also for us it has a huge influence because in these weeks we are really really in a bubble. We are working on these pieces, we are, we are getting so deep into these pieces and into the community. And I think we will take some of these, some, some of the common grounds we have, some of the goals we have also to our own choir. So we would like to work, how we would like to breathe together, what you just mentioned. How to breathe together, how to do intonation together and have this feeling of we are one group and we have one common goal and let's go for that. For me, the thing I would re I really take with myself every time is the is the passion, mm -hmm. is the inspiration, because we have the group is most of them are young professionals, so they already have the abilities, but they're still that fresh mm -hmm. <laughs> that um, I, I feel that I sometimes get more than I give, mm -hmm. and this is such a nice feeling because you yeah it just fills fills us with energy and with positive emotions. And when we go back to our daily life, let's say, it just, it follows you. And getting accepted is not very easy. You need to send your own application and there are often many applicants and very, very competent singers. But I think that any singer that would like to try should just try it. And even though it's over, it's not really over because we, we experience it as a group. So the memory is like a group memory and it stays with us for, forever. Mm -hmm. And even if we meet each other 10 years later, we can talk about those things. And we can uh, remember this kind of music making, which is so important exactly for these ages. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs>